We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today on a precious day that God has given us. I'm coming to you from a different place. It's a bit noisy over here, but hopefully we can share the word of God and spend time in his presence. God is good. God is always good and he is with us. He never leaves us helpless. He never leaves us alone. And I can tell you even today, my dear friend, God is with you. And because he is with you, you will make it through. My dear friend, oftentimes on a daily basis, we will be faced with situations and various scenarios and various people who will make us angry, who will affect us in different ways, which is why it is so important for us to deal with anger, with disputes, with offenses, and we should know what to do and when to do it. Today I want to speak to you and the title of my message is Dealing with Disputes, Anger and Offenses. So let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and say this out loud with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit and bless me. Help me to pray, help me to press in and help me to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus name and I thank you for it Lord. Amen. Now, we're going to be taking our reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, from verse 21 to verse 26. And it says, You have heard that it was said to those of old, You shall not murder, and whoever murders will be in danger of judgment. But I say to you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says, you fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Agree with your adversary quickly while you are still on the way with him, lest your adversary deliver you to the judge. The judge hand you over to the officer, and you be thrown in prison. Assuredly, I say to you, you will by no means get out of there until you have paid the last penny. This is so powerful. This passage of scripture shows us the keys to dealing with anger, to dealing with offenses, to dealing with disputes, to dealing with situations where there is a disagreement. Now let us go through it quickly and we'll break it down bit by bit. It says, you have heard that it was said of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be in danger of judgment. Now it goes on and says, but I say to you, that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. Oftentimes we get angry, angry for various different reasons. And sometimes anger may just brew up within us. And we find ourselves angry with other people without a cause. This is something that we need to deal with. We need to take it to the Lord in prayer. And we need to ask him, Lord, help me to deal with this. Now it goes on and says, And whoever says to his brother Raka shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says you fool shall be in danger of hellfire. Now, when I read this, certain scenarios are brought up. You know, when you're angry and you respond out of anger, it is so easy to let the wrong words out. And those words that are spoken in anger can put us in a state where we are in wrong standing with God. Because now we have brought something, some words against someone in anger. And anger is one of those situations that we need to deal with carefully because in anger, many people have made decisions and said things that they regret. In anger, many people have thrown away great things that God had given them simply because of a moment of uncontrolled anger. Anger is very dangerous. Now it goes on and says, therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there remember your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Now we'll stop there and I want to share something with you. When you realize 
that there is an offense or a disagreement with someone else, with one of your brothers or sisters in Christ. Deal with it quickly. Bring resolution to the problem. Approach the individual. Make peace. Make peace quickly. Forgive and forget. Let it go. Whatever they did, sometimes it is difficult, but with the help of the Father, it is possible to let it go. Forgive and forget, and allow yourself to move on and to grow. It's so important that you deal with the dispute quickly, that you deal with the situation, whatever it is, quickly, even before you offer your gift. It is so important that you deal with the situation. Now it goes on and says, agree with your adversary quickly while you are on the way with him, lest your adversary deliver you to the judge and the judge hand you over to the officer and you be thrown in prison. Assuredly, I say to you, you will by no means get out of there till you have paid the last penny. So it shows us it's very important to deal with situations quickly because if left unattended, they could become much bigger and bring much more of trouble than we thought they would bring. It is so important that we deal with it quickly. Today I want to encourage you if you are angry, seek the Father as we pray and ask Him to help you to deal with that anger. If you are finding that you have anger against someone without reason, ask the Father to help you to deal with that. If you find that you are in a place where someone offended you and you are holding on forgiveness or you are just angry inside, it is time to let it go. If you find you are in a place where you have offended someone, you made someone angry. Perhaps it was by accident or perhaps you did something and there was a disagreement. It's time to make peace. Make peace quickly. Make peace while there is still time. Make peace and live at peace with all. Live with the love of God, agape love, for each and every one around you. And let people know you that you are a child of God by the love that you have for others. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin by praising and thanking God. And as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray. I'll pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. In saying that, let us begin. Father, thank you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy that is poured out today in abundance. Thank you, Lord, that you don't leave us helpless. And even today you are fighting for us. You are making a way for us. You are fighting for my dear friend who's watching this video. You are making a way for my dear friend. And by your grace, by your mercy, my dear friend who's watching this video will make it through. Father, we give you praise and we thank you that you don't leave us helpless. You don't leave us alone. And we will make it through simply by your grace. Your grace is sufficient for us, for your power is made perfect in weakness. We thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and for the full and finished work of the cross. We thank you for all that you do for us. And we give you praise. The God of heaven and earth, the God who speaks and he lives, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now let us begin to pray. As we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you Comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. I stretch my hand towards this camera and I pray. Wherever there may be any anger, wherever there may be any offense, wherever there may be any deep-rooted issues with my dear friend's life, concerning disputes with other people, concerning disagreements, concerning fights that might have happened, concerning unforgiveness, concerning offense. Release your grace right now over my dear friend and set my dear friend free. Help my dear friend to make peace quickly. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. Thank you for tuning in from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.